What's up everyone? Hope everyone's having a great day watching the video. Welcome, it is uh, currently Thursday. We are on site in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Sheridan Hotel for the setup of Apex's prom. I know the crew that's doing the audio, Aaron, my boy Aaron, you guys saw him in the previous video. I got Hannah and Trey with me and Jordan should be here as well. Yeah, we got a lot of teams on site here. Femeworks is on site, doing a lot of work. I got my man Jordan over here. What up crew? The sub array is in. So we're waiting on uh, the ability to open that door so we can bring in all the lighting stuff that we brought. Here's all the road cases for all the subs. Here's all the road cases for everything else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're all set up with the exception of doing sound check. We did have to modify a little bit of what we were doing, um, but I think it turned out pretty awesome. So again, we're at Apex. You got Themeworks here working on all the lanterns. The theme is boardwalk. So we got all of this. You guys see we got the both lighting 360 tubes. I've been telling you guys we just zip tie them now. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point it out now. We used black zip ties. That's all we had on us. We should have used clear, but... This far away, no one's gonna notice. Check it out, we got the eight VRX 918 subs. Full tour coming later. Getting our mic set up. All the bistro lights over here. Sandbags on everything. We got a total of 40 up lights around the room. We have uh, somewhere, what well, we got, 24 S4s and then 16 of the IR4s. Just a combination all over the place. And um, yeah, I like it. it. Turned out very well so far. And we're about to do a nice little sound check. Hear how it sounds. Oh, we did a little th different this year. So um, this year, subs of course are the same. SRX A15s for center fills, two VRX 932s on both sides, and the LD Systems Maui 44 G2s on the side for a little side fill coverage. So, quite a few speakers today. It's gonna sound insane. I'm just waiting on the cue from Mr. Aaron here on when we're ready for sound check. Distro rack, audio rack, mics. Look at all the IR4s. Ready to go. We're gonna run sound switch on all the lighting, EV monitors both sides. We done. See you guys tomorrow. What's up, guys? It's the next day. We are prepping to get out of here. Got the good old Chipotle delivered, ready to grab some food on the road to the prom today. A little red, got some sun, you know. But just wanted to level set with you guys on what to expect in this gig log because uh, we did basically the setup yesterday for this prom. We're going to go do the prom this evening. It's about 4.30 right now. We're going to leave. Prom doesn't start until 8. We go 8 to midnight. It's a long prom and then we got to break down everything. It's an hour drive. Come on back here and then we're going to turn around and drive two hours out to Brown Mountain Beach to do a wedding tomorrow night. So another double header weekend. Super excited. But wanted to kind of give a couple tips. I know you guys up in New Jersey and New York do literally like three, four weddings a weekend. And you guys probably have more tips than I do, but from my learning experience with doing multi events on a single weekend, a couple things are critical. One is rest. Rest is super important. And to help maximize rest and also to help maximize my efficiency on the weekend, I actually go through and pre schedule all my meals for delivery. I live in Greensboro, we have DoorDash, all that sort of stuff. So I have DoorDash already prepped for breakfast every single morning. I have DoorDash scheduled for my lunches during the weekend. Just so that way it's one less thing I have to worry about and it's one uh, less hurdle of having to go somewhere and come back so it helps with my time helps with my rest helps with my managers another thing is to stock up on the fluids water is super critical it's May here it's anywhere from upper 70s to upper 80s on the weekends right now tomorrow's wedding is outside so stocking up on the fluids That's why I always bring a cooler to every event That's why I also always bring snacks to every event so stay hydrated stay well fed and rest those are the most critical things for these weekends keeping your body in good shape and then of course the unsaid one is preparation so getting everything prepped for your weekend I've got all of my stuff already charged up my ceremony rig and everything for tomorrow's wedding the prom stuff and everything like that we started prepping that on Wednesday getting the trailer loaded I even have next week prep this right here is for our corporate event next Thursday so be on the lookout for that gig log coming next but yeah we're gonna head on out to the prom you guys aren't gonna be part of the journey but we will see you guys when we get there What's up everyone? Welcome to On Site here at the Apex High Prom 2023. 
Uh, today's theme is boardwalk. And of course, um, if you watched last year's gig log, it got a lot of views, mostly because of this right here. <laughs> Eight individual subwoofers, JBL VRX 930, or 918 SPs. And then we have four of the JBL VRX 932s up top on both sides, provided from our good friend behind us, <laughs> Mr. Aaron. But Aaron brought all the goodies when it comes to the sound today. We do have two SRX 815s for center fill. And then on the far outside reaches, there are the LD Systems Maui 44 G2s, which we normally use for a wedding up to 200, but today we have 900 students, so we got quite a bit more. Lighting wise, if you see, we have Beaster lights all throughout, up above and around. We have two truss towers, variety of different sticks we use to combine to make them, but they're about 12 foot tall, maybe like 13, 14 feet tall, but we got a variety of different sticks we combine to make these up. Truss plates, of course, we got sandbags and all of them because we know we gotta be safe. We have the new both lighting tubes, 360 tubes up top. We basically did this cool little configuration with some zip ties. We got them on both sides. We are running wireless DMX tonight, so everything is tied into the sound switch. Uh, we got up lights in both of those. And then on the outskirts, we have just some Georgia Expo pipe and drape stands, heavy base plates on the bottom, running all of our Beaster lights. These are all LED Beaster lights, so like they pull no power at all. And they're actually plastic too. So if you've Go watch some of my previous videos. I go through this a little bit more in detail, but um, they're basically shatterproof. You don't have to worry about glass breaking and they're LEDs, so you can string up thousands of feet of these with no problem. If we come back here, I wanna show real quick. If you guys are doing bistro lights, I highly recommend you pick up these right here. It's actually a dimming thing. So uh, this, I can use this to dim. Uh, so if you see right there, I actually can dim it down to nothing or just barely on or full brightness. And we have one on each of the totems here. So the power comes to the beaster lights up here and on the other side, and then we can dim the beaster lights so that we can get the lighting dialed in. So if you guys are doing beaster lights, I highly recommend you get those, especially if you're doing beaster lights in a, like over the dance floor, because they can get quite bright. Panning around the room, we have, I think we brought 40 up lights today. 24 of the S4s from both lighting. These guys right here. We got 24 of the S4s around the room. Always a go-to light for us. And then we have 16 of the IR4s as well placed variety around the room for uh, a crap load of uplighting in this room. Coming to our back power world. This is Aaron's pride and joy, basically. All right, well, let's start with power. Uh, right behind us here is a 50 up 220 outlet uh, provided by the venue. And we've got that going into the power district down here. So again, 50 amps 220, so split on two phases. So we've basically got eight 20 amp circuits available to us. We're running five of those circuits just for the VRX system. So every pair of subwoofers gets its own circuit. VRX mains get their own circuit. And then we've got the rest of the stuff kind of divided up evenly just to make sure everything is balanced and happy. And we're honestly about at capacity running the thing full tilt. So on the audio rack here, uh, we've got a, a DBX Venue 360. Uh, that's all controlled via the iPad here. Allows us to take the signal output of a uh, Soundcraft UI 16 mixer allows us to take the uh, microphones, the feed from the DJ, uh, and run that out to the inputs on the Venue 360. From there, we can set how much signal we want going to each speaker, set EQ curves, uh, crossovers, delays, anything we need to get everything tuned up nice. So you guys, uh, you guys are familiar with me using the Drive Rack uh, PA2. This is the bigger brother to the Drive Rack PA2 with the Venue 360. Instead of three outputs, you have five outputs now. Six outputs? You have six outputs, <laughs> and we're using every one of them just because we wanted to do that much level of control. Uh, what do you got? The subs are all on one, the center fills, the tops. Yep, left and right. And then, thing. oh, individually? Yep. So individual control of the left it's and right. It's not stereo, but we could. Yeah, well, we're, we're just playing DJ music, so we're gonna be in mono anyways. For the sake of cable, yeah. we ran the uh, outfills. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this was the new thing this year. We didn't do this last year, but we added the LD Systems Maui 44 G2s just as a side fill. You know, why not? We had them in the trailer, so we went ahead and put them in. Oh yeah, so let's come up on stage now. Up here on stage, of course, we have what we call Burfa, AKA the, the custom turntable booth that I built with the Rain 12s, S9. We'll get into some of that in a minute. We have, uh, these are ZLXs, two EV ZLX 12s or 15s. So two EV ZLX 12s that are gonna be used for my monitors tonight. If you guys know the channel, I don't use monitors ever, but for these bigger sound things, especially when we're on the stage, all the sound is up front. So all I can really hear is the bass rumble from the subs, which is insane, but I really have no reference to the highs and mids. So this helps me a lot with being able to hear what I'm actually playing out to the world. 
um, beyond just my headphones. Aaron did this cool thing this year. This is the Behringer Monitor 1, and basically what it does is it gives me my own volume dial so I can turn these up or down depending on what I'm feeling for the night, which is a lot nicer than having to go behind it. And actually, I was seeing yesterday, I can actually take my foot and just turn it. Of course, everything comes back to the laptop. It's the most important thing for any DJ because this is where your music comes from. And in our case, it also controls the lights. We're using sound switch tonight with the tubes. We got all of our dimming controls. If I activate them, we can dim the up lights. And if we go to group three, we can dim the tubes. Everything's controlled and ready to go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We just need to get changed. We already did sound check. It is incredibly loud and awesome as always. We're pretty much gonna get rid of this microphone now at this point because um, this mic actually caps out a lot more before the actual camera does. GoPro ready to go tonight. It's gonna be interesting. I have another school dance in a year. So we're gonna have some fun.
un pardano Ma non sono dono
one last time for me. Real quick, I need everybody to pay attention to the stage right now. Coming to the stage right now to perform his very own track. Go ahead and start making some noise for the
Hey, that was, that was one for the books right there. That was one for the books. I like that. Apex. They get better every year. Every year, I swear, they get better. Either that or I'm a better DJ, but I'm not that cocky, so. No, I mean, yeah, you probably get there. You probably get a little bit better every year. You probably pay attention. I mean, this man hyped the shit out of them. No. I'm right. I'm following him. I'm following. I can't, I can't host unless, unless they definitely weren't used to that, though, because I don't MC at all. <laughs> this battery's going to die, but I'm going to switch over to the GoPro, and we're going to finish it out, and then I'll have a battery to film an outro because we ran through all the batteries, which means you got a lot of footage. And that right there is a wrap. All broke down. What time is it? 1.15. 1.15. That's way better than last year. Last year it took us like two, three hours to get everything loaded out. We just got to load up uh, Aaron's trailer. And yeah, me and Trey will catch you tomorrow at the wedding. And you got an event and you got an event. We all got events. Yay. <laughs> What's up, everyone? We're, uh, we drove two hours out into the mountains. We're at Brown Mountain Beach. Check it out. Pretty dope spot. Look at this. I like it. That's where the DJ goes. Yeah, that's where Marcel said he goes down there and sets up. Yeah, they definitely brought this sand in. Here's the inside. Yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip. Uh, this is my first time being out here. Marcel has been out here many times, like I think three or four now. My first time actually showing up out here, but you know, the first thing you always do is just walk in and figure it out. So me and my assistant, it's pouring down right now too. We walk into every single venue prior to unloading anything. So we get a clear aspect as to 
what we're gonna be setting up, where we're gonna be setting up, is there anything we need to be thinking about, trickiness, and, um, like we're talking now about two different speaker placements, so we're working on it. I wish we could film some stuff for you guys, but it's been a, been a mess. It's hot, it's sweaty, humidity is up, it just literally poured down rain for like an hour. Not a traditional setup by any means, but uh, here's the audio rack. There's Berifa, there's one of the speakers. Another speaker back behind there by Trey. We have four of these stereo, or not stereo tubes. Both lighting 360 tubes, they're better than these stereos. The musicians for the uh, ceremony are up here and I actually routed them into our board and then our board <laughs> goes down around to a speaker down there because we didn't have enough time nor chancing the weather that it would still be raining down there. We're running the lapels all the way from up here to down there. Shouldn't be an issue, we went ahead and tested it out. But uh, yeah, a lot of logistics today on a Saturday. And it's hot. So hot. Brian and Groomer out the one um, some kayaking. This venue is pretty sweet. I mean, Marcellus was in line when he said it's pretty sweet. It is an all outdoor venue, but we are up in the mountains. Other than the fact that it just rained, it's actually not that hot out. So we got a fan blowing upstairs. It feels amazing. So they have the main upstairs. The outside deck, the outside bar, and then they have a speakeasy down below. Check that out. Got a phone. There's a spiral staircase that goes up to the top. It's hidden by a door. We could actually go up it. Look at that. Old cigarette machine as well. Pretty authentic speakeasy. Pretty cool. Let's go up. See, they have a door that hides it.
We're done. We're out of here. It's hot.